Next Generation Gamer, commonly abbreviated as Ing Gamer, is one of the largest gaming websites in the Benelux. It can be accessed via the extensions, EU, B or, NL, though the latter is the main extension. Ing Gamer is fed entirely by volunteered work by its editors. History The domain for Ing Gamer was reserved back in 2004, though the actual site was founded in 2005, by Christian de Jong and Raoul Wolf. Before the website had even been firmly created, they started a search for people with interests and the needed capacities to supply a website with news and articles. After a search of several months, a crew was assembled. Ing Gamer officially went online in November 2005. The launch of the website went as planned. Though during the course of the first several months online, several members of the crew left the team. However, Ing Gamer acquired several new crew members to compensate the loss. These crew members have supplied the website with a steady amount of news posts, articles, screenshots, videos, and more, making Ing Gamer what it is today. Ing Gamer as a source Ing Gamer gained some international fame due to its lengthy interview with Randy Pitchford about Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, an interview that was spread out over three articles. Other interviews such as the interview with Miroslav Dimek, technical director of Reality Pump Studios about Two Worlds also gained fame. Though these two are not the only contributions of Ing Gamer that were used as sources or references by other media, Ing Gamer's Martin Muller was also the first source to mention Sony's release of PlayStation Home. Details were later given by Kotaku with Ing Gamer to finally confirm the rumors. This reporter was also the first source, in 2007, to report on Electronic Arts' interest in a remake or sequel of American McGee's Alice, which was officially announced in 2009. In January 2010, Ing Gamer was the first to confirm the development of Killzone 3, two months before it was first officially confirmed. In the Dutch community, Ing Gamer was one of the few outlets to be given a number of multiplayer beta codes to Halo 3. Topic: The future of Ing Gamer. Though nobody has an actual working crystal ball to foresee the future, intentions are to implement several new functions. Amongst these are A full members list The ability to post comments to videos An update of the forums Different colors for the menus depending on the gaming system that is being viewed A rework of the reputation system Addition of cheats, walkthroughs, etc. Ing Gamer content Screenshots and videos Screenshots have been a part of the Ing Gamer database ever since the beginning. Videos however were introduced in May 2007. Videos from game trailers, iFilm and YouTube can now be seen at their corresponding game page. The latest videos appear on the front page and can be accessed there. Topic: Articles. Ing Gamer is supplied by several kind of articles. These vary from columns to previews to reviews. Columns are always somewhat related to gaming but are biased opinions of the writers. Previews and reviews however always handle a single subject, whether it's a video game or a piece of hardware. The authors try to remain as neutral as possible whilst analyzing the subject, though a review is always just another opinion. The articles themselves can be accessed via the appropriate game page, though the latest articles appear on the front page with a spotlight and superlight, not all articles are written by the crew members themselves. A system has been implanted to allow users to post their own articles, for which they are awarded full credit. With the allowance of HTML tags, these articles can be supported with pictures to brighten them up and make them more attractive. Reputation system and the community Unlike most communities, Ingamer members do not gain fame by posting a lot. Instead they start with a reputation score of 10. 
Their reactions to news post, articles, etc. get a score from 0 to 3, with 3 being highest. The more good scores you have, the higher your reputation gets, or vice versa. The lowest reputation score is 0 whilst 30 is the highest. Users' reputation score can be seen next to their username. The reputation system is also connected to a filter. Users have the ability to filter out responses of other members by selecting the minimum score they want to see. Although InGamer has several hundreds of thousands unique visitors each month, few of them actually use the forums. These are mostly used by either the crew members themselves or a group of hardcore visitors. InGamer is working on a strategy to make their forums more attractive and expand their community. One of the strategies used to attract more people to use the forums, etc. is the implementation of the previously mentioned option for users to contribute their own articles. Other options, such as a list of favorite boards, topics, newsposts, etc. are also to contribute to making InGamer more appealing to users. PSP, PDA and mobile phone versions Ing Gamer has several versions of its website up and running. All of these versions are custom made so that they can be used in an optimal way with the corresponding platform. The PSP version of Ing Gamer went live on February 27, 2006. The PDA and mobile phone versions went live at launch. Topic: The Ing Gamer Crew. The original crew members Christian de Young, general manager, left the team October 2007. Raoul Wolf, communications manager, left the team early 2006. Alex Klein, editor, left the team early 2006. Dominique Pinnenberg, editor. Francis Van Hull, editor, got fired July 2008. Jalki Peters, editor, left the team early 2006. Joeri Crowles, editor, left the team in April 2012. Kenny Lammers, editor, left the team early 2007. Mikiel Hanswick, editor, left the team January 2008. Michel Van Zanten, editor, left the team early 2006. Niels Slotboom, editor, left the team early 2006. Patrick van der Weide, editor, left the team early 2006. Ron van de Graaff, editor, left the team early 2006. Tamara van Staldwinen, editor, left the team June 2007, rejoined April 2008, but quit again early 2009. Topic: <laughs> Additional members. Wesley Winterswick, editor, joined January 2006, left the team June 2008. Martin Muller, editor, joined February 2006. Matthias Verkateren, editor, joined February 2006, left the team June 2007. Christoph Ayerts, editor, joined March 2006, left the team April 2008. Jürgen van den Abiel, editor, joined July 2006, got fired in August 2007. Christoph Joy, editor, joined June 2007. Rudimir Cousineau, editor, joined June 2007. Robert Wittenar, editor, joined August 2007. Daniel De Jaeger, editor, joined August 2007, left April 2008. Don De Young, general manager, joined October 2007. Sander Shedders, general manager, joined October 2007, left early 2008. Edwin Van Dalen, editor, joined February 2008. Patrick de Gussum, editor, joined July 2008. Leroy Van Den Broek, editor, joined July 2008, left September 2008. Don Van D, editor, joined October 2008. David Henry, editor, joined October 2008. Tim Leegstra, editor, joined March 2009, left February 2012. General management, PR management and editors-in-chief Raoul Wolf and Christian de Young 
Along with Christian de Jong, Raoul Wolf was the founding member of Ing Gamer. He left early 2006 due to disagreement with Christian about the policy of Ing Gamer. His function as general manager would not be succeeded. Christian kept his position as general manager until his departure in October 2007. Christian no longer had the time or motivation to invest into Ing Gamer. Hence, he sold the website to Don de Young and Sander Shedders. Don de Young and Sander Shedders Don de Young would pick up his function as general manager in October 2007 when he and Sander Shedders bought Ing Gamer from Christian de Young. Sander however, left the team in early 2008 due to unknown reasons. <laughs> Mikhail Hanswick It was clear from the beginning that an editor-in-chief was needed. Therefore, Mikhail Hanswick was assigned this function in January 2006. During the course of the year he would also get assigned the job of PR contact. He would keep fulfilling these functions until his departure in December 2007. The reason for this was that McKeel no longer saw the possibility to combine his personal life with his function as he simply did not have enough spare time to invest into Ing Gamer. His function would then be assigned to Dominique Pinnenberg. McKeel rejoined the crew though in June 2008. After the departure of Wesley Winterswick, he would pick up his old function as PR contact, which he would soon drop once again. This time it's because he has completely lost the time, being sponsored as a skater. <inaudible> Kenny Lammers Kenny Lammers started as PR contact for Ingamer in January 2006. He supplied the website with review copies of games, goodies and games to give away, interviews with developers, etc. Due to his excellent work as PR contact, he was also assigned the function of editor-in-chief in July 2006. Due to a hectic personal life, Kenny resigned from this function. His PR contacts were taken over by editor-in-chief McKeel Hanswick. Joeri Crowells gained Kenny's function as editor-in-chief. In January 2008, former PR contact and editor-in-chief Kenny Lammers got into a car accident. While his car ended up a complete wreck, he and his girlfriend got out with a scare and some bruises. According to Kenny, someone above must have been watching over him. The circumstances involving the accident are unknown, but fatigue was certainly amongst the causes. <laughs> Joeri Crowells Joeri would pick up Kenny's function as editor-in-chief after his departure in March 2007. Joeri would keep fulfilling this function until his departure in January 2008. However, Joeri rejoined the crew in June 2008. As of September 2008 he would reprise his role as editor-in-chief alongside Dominique Pinnenberg until April 2012. Dominique Pinnenberg. Dominique applied for free spot of editor-in-chief after the departure of McKeel. He was assigned this function several weeks later. References and sources <references>